Welcome back to everyone on the Football Zone and to another weekend preview. And yeah, a um, big weekend of um, Premier League action coming up. And yeah, definitely going to be some interesting matches um, to look forward to. Starting off with Man City against Everton. And Man City on a roll at the moment. Um, yeah, won the last um, four on the chart, I think. Um, and yeah, Everton unbeaten after some tough games, especially against Tottenham. Um, and I think, yeah, there really is a lot of fight in this um, Everton side. Whether it will be enough to stop Man City, I'm not totally convinced. So I'm going to say this will be a 2 0 City win. Moving on into Fulham as they take on Bournemouth at um, Craven Cottage and yeah this is an interesting game Fulham coming into this one um, yeah I think um, on a um, mixed run of form I think you know lots of draws they need a win because they haven't had a win for a while um, but you know I think unbeaten against some decent sides um, against the Bournemouth side who also yeah um, are drawing quite a lot at the moment um, so you know both these teams will be looking to convert one point into three both relatively mid-table but I think Fulham at home will definitely feel confident here I'm going to say 2-0 Fulham win but moving on then to Liverpool as they take on Burnley and yeah after the disappointment of that game against Arsenal last week I think this is a game that Liverpool will really be expecting to win but I think you know Burnley have proven they won't be going down without a fight and um, you know we saw that um fight back against Fulham last week so you know I'm not expecting this to be a tough game uh, to be an easy game for Liverpool at all um, but you know it is one that you'd expect they win nine times out of time or uh, even more likely than that to be honest um, so yeah I'm going to say this will be a 3-0 win um, for the pool moving on then to Luton against um, Sheffield United at uh, Kenilworth Road and yeah Luton coming into this one um, I think yeah, they'll be really buoyed by that um, result, even though they threw it away late on it in Newcastle. They'll take a lot of confidence coming into this one, but taking on a um, Sheffield United side who, quite frankly, have looked pretty awful recently. That 5-0 defeat to Villa capping off what's been a really dismal run of form. Um, yeah, I think they'll definitely be feeling confident coming into this one. I'm going to say it'll be a 2-0, 2-1 Luton win. Moving on then to um, Tottenham against Brighton at um, White Hart Lane. And yeah, Tottenham coming into this one... Um, off the back of that draw against Everton, um, which will be frustrating. But I think they're still on a decent path. Brighton, I think, will really be starting to rebuild momentum now. Obviously, had that shocker against Luton, but got that win over Crystal Palace um, as they look to build towards Europe. So, yeah, it's a big game for both these sides. I think Tottenham, though, at home, um, will really fancy their chances in this one. I'm going to say it'll be a 2-0 win um, for Tottenham. But moving on then to Wolves against Brentford. And, yeah, Wolves coming into this one um, off the back of... Um, I would say um, a pretty decent run of form, to be honest. Obviously got that win against Chelsea, um, that big derby day win against um, West Brom. The only blemish will be that um, result against Manchester United. Chucking right away at the end will be so frustrating. Um, but taking on a Brentford side... Um, who have lost their last two, obviously against Tottenham against Man City. Um, so we're looking to get some momentum back. But I think at home, Wolves will feel fancy their chances. I'm going to say 2 0. Moving on then to Forest as they take on um, Newcastle at home. And yeah, Forest um, maybe just struggling a little. A um, few disappointing results. Couldn't it beat Bristol City in the Cup, um, which will be frustrating for them. Um, and yeah, Newcastle, I think in a way, still reading off that 4 4 draw against Luton. Good fight back in the end, um, and they were on decent form before that. So I think, you know, coming into this one, they definitely will fancy their chances. Um, it could be quite a close game being at the city ground, um, but I think the team will have enough. I'm going to say 2 0. Moving on then to um, West Ham against Arsenal at. Um, at the London Stadium and yeah West Ham coming into this one um yeah and their form I would say is not really convincing to be honest um not seen a whole lot from them recently um to suggest that much it, that things are going too well under David Moyes but against an Arsenal side who really are firing I think we saw that um last time out um so yeah, they'll be optimistic coming into this one. I think Arsenal will have enough. I'm going to say three now. Moving on into Aston Villa as they take on Manchester United at um, Villa Park. And yeah, Aston Villa coming into this one. Um, yeah, I think in a way they'll be relatively content with their form. But in a way, I think there definitely is room for improvement. Um, obviously, um, yeah, that loss to Newcastle was frustrating with that great win over Sheffield United. But um, Manchester United really coming into this one with a bit of a roll. Three wins on the trot now in all comps. So yeah, I think they'll be really um, looking forward to this one. I'm going to say Villa though, at home, may just have enough. I'm going to say 2-1. But moving on then to um, Crystal Palace against Chelsea uh, in the Monday Night Football. And yeah, um, this isn't going to be an easy game for Ram Chelsea at all. We've seen the poor form they're in recently. Um, and yeah, Palace, we've got the players they can hurt them. They will 
they have lost 4-1 and 5-0 in the last few games. Though. So at the moment, I think it's fair to say neither side is really convincing us too much. So yeah, be an interesting game this one. Um, and one that I feel could go either way. But I'm going to say it's going to be a 1-1. Anyway guys, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on our socials. Link in the description below for daily football news, meme and content. Subscribe for our other channels on screen right now. That would be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out.